I just want to remind people, you know, of, of the sponsors that have, have made this event possible. Um, you know, from Rancho Biosciences that's here represented, Converge Health, Thomson Reuters, University of Michigan, our host. Um, also Cognizant, who's our bronze sponsor. Tonight we have, uh, have dinner, uh, which is sponsored by BT, Global Services and The Hive. And our breaks are sponsored by Elevata, who has some very interesting stuff here on the side table. So if you have a chance to uh, talk to our sponsors, that would be great. So I wanted to remind people a little bit about the governance of the foundation and how the foundation works. So the, the key thing that we've done in building the foundation is, as a, you know, a, an organizer of this community has been uh, to ensure that we can get you know, ideas and concepts and efforts organized at a very grassroots level and have those ideas and concepts and designs you know, transmitted strategically to the board level and also you know, make it into the direction that management takes uh, as a whole. And so we've structured this in such a way that you know, we have these three C working groups and these are here, the, the community code and content uh, committees. Now these committees um, are co-chaired by a member of the foundation management team so that we have a, an ear to the ground there uh, and by a member of the foundation, a community member of the foundation. And the idea here is to make sure that we have representation of the community, representation of management, and that we're really digging into the, the core details of what's important in these areas. Uh, each of these three C committees uh, reports on a regular basis back to the board of directors and, and reports on the activities of the working groups, uh, key issues that are impo of importance to the working groups, um, and makes uh, you know, suggestions and, and proposals to the board uh, for activities that the foundation should undertake. So this is a really critical part of the governance of the foundation. This is how every one of you can have a voice in what happens both at the board level and at the executive management level uh, with the foundation. Uh, each of these three committees is composed of working groups. These working groups are dynamic. That is, um, if we have something that needs, needs attention, uh, we form a working group. You know, very recently we had a, a question at the board level which is, what are we doing about security and privacy of personal information? Uh, and Brian uh, took on as the, the co-chair of the content committee to form a working group on this specific subject and to bring together people in the community to come up with a strategy and a plan that we can then go back to the board with and management can, can begin a process of execution of. So these are our very important aspects. And as you noticed, when we started out yesterday, we heard a lot about you know, what people are doing with the platform, where we've come from. Uh, today, some very current topics. Now is the time where we really dig into the issues that are of importance today and tomorrow. And we bring those issues, we formulate them together, we discuss them, uh, and we bring those back to us as a group and then up to the board level. So I'm encouraging everyone here to get engaged in at least one of the committees and at least one working group. Um, there is no restriction on membership of working groups. You can be in as many working groups as you like. You don't have to be a member. You can be from the community at large. Um, this is really a community-based effort, and this is where, where you can get engaged. Uh, our board uh, is now, I believe we're at, uh, we're actually at 15 members today. Um, and as, as, as I said, the three C committee uh, chairs report back to the board. So at our board meeting coming up in January, um, Jay and Sherry and Ceremon and, and whatnot will get in front of the board and will present what's happening, what the key issues are in those three C committee groups and make recommendations to the board uh, for going forward. And then that makes its way down you know, to the executive management of the foundation to make sure that we are now acting on behalf of the community and on behalf of the board of directors in the, uh, in the behest of our stakeholders to ensure that we're moving things in the right direction. So uh, these committees, as I said, are, are co-chaired by a member and a foundation representative. Uh, the code committee um, is uh, the foundation CTO, E.K. Go. E.K., are you in here? There we are, so E.K. is here. And then uh, community member Jay Bergeron from Pfizer, Jay. Everybody recognizes him from his picture. Um, <laughs> so um, if you're interested in the code committee, uh, you want to talk with these guys and, and get engaged there. Uh, the content committee, uh, we have uh, three members here. We have on the foundation side, Brian Athey, our CSO, is the foundation co-chair. Brian? Everybody knows Brian. And then we have uh, Sir Moan, uh from Thomson Reuters. 
and we have Julie from Rancho Biosciences over here. So I think that content is an incredibly important area for us, um, something we all need to be engaged in and think more about as we go forward. So please get actively involved there. And on the community side, uh, community is really about building out our community as a whole from a, a, you know, a personal perspective, from a professional perspective, from a, a marketplace perspective. You know, Michael uh, Braxton Thaler, who's one of the, the co-founders of the, of the foundation, is leading an effort with Marketplace, which falls under the community uh, committee. And so the, the chairs of this are Kevin Smith from the foundation. Kevin is over here. Uh, and uh, Sherry from, uh, from Sanofi. Which, who are Sherry? Oh, there's Sherry. Can't miss Sherry. So these are the, the people that you need to talk to in terms of getting engaged there. The working groups, as I said, form underneath the auspices of each of these committees. Um, and uh, they're focused on, on those specific activities. So just to give you a quick introduction to each of these, because what we're going to do is break off into three groups that are organized by code, community, and content. We're going to, when we break off to those, uh, each of the co-chairs of those are going to give you an overview of the mission of each of those groups, what working groups are active, and you know, get your participation and engagement in this. And then what we want to have happen after this meeting is once people come together and really frame some of the issues, is to get together on an ad hoc basis, on a formalized basis, to continue those efforts uh, as we go through, uh, through the year. So the, the code committee and its working groups, um, the mission statement for the code committee is, is to support the overarching mission of the foundation, its partners and stakeholders by maintaining a thriving community that attracts a diverse group of highly talented software professionals. Uh, who are empowered to create an open, reliable, useful, and expanding translational research platform based on vigorous and sustainable technology strategy. Um, so I think these are, are, are lots of, of uh, very nice descriptions. Uh, the key element of this is really to build a very capable development community and a platform that, that serves the needs of the community. We currently have three working groups in the code committee. Uh, we have an engineering support uh, working group. We have a product management working group and an architecture working group. Uh, one of the key things that the code committee will be taking on this year is discussion of roadmap. So how do we develop the right roadmap for the platform over the next set of, of years? Uh, and that's a really critical thing and I'm looking forward to hearing what the, what the working groups have to say there. The content committee uh, has a mission. It, it combines a light top-down direction from the foundation and a coordinated bottoms up um, harvest from the community of, of tools and data for sharing content. One of the things that's really important, you know, from my perspective scientifically is, is if we have a really great software platform and we don't have any content, it's not very useful, right? Um, we have a really great software platform. Uh, we have a number of groups bringing content to that platform. I think it's very important to find ways to bring more content to the platform and to share that content in the most effective ways. That's really the mission and, and goal of the content committee, uh, to look at you know, the kinds of applications that you want to do with the content, how do we share that content, and then you know, not all content can be free and open. Some content has restrictions of some sort. That doesn't mean you can't collaborate and share. So what are the licensing and IP issues around content and some of that sharing of, of what is uh, largely private data? Um, and the, the other aspect of this is that there's a strong interaction between what the content community is doing uh, and the code and community uh, committees as well. So these are not uh, working in isolation. Finally, the, the community committee, um, headed up by, by Kevin and Sherry, their mission is really to, to promote awareness uh, of what's happening across the various stakeholder community, uh, communities, um, to ensure that we have a, a vibrant community developing around this, that the, we're getting the word out, um, one of the things I've been struck by in, in a lot of our discussions in this meeting the past day or so um, has been um, how I see a lot of very familiar faces. I, I see a set of new faces, but I think our challenge is, is to really grow the new faces, right? Um, we have a very vibrant community, but we don't want to be insular. And we have to do that crossing of the chasm to really branch into the mainstream. Uh, that's really one of the key uh, efforts that the community committee is focused on, getting the message out bringing that mainstream group to the foundation, to this community to participate. Uh, the working groups that we have here, um, our marketing efforts fall in here. Uh, we have a rebranding working group, and you've seen a lot of the uh, output of this group uh, overall. The new logo, the new website, the LinkedIn presence, the Twitter presence, et cetera. 
um, and what's happened with Lanyard. So that's all there. Uh, we have a use case collection and dissemination working group that Dave Merberg is, is leading, a user guide and training uh, working group with uh, Julian and, and Yanni. Uh, we have our monthly community meeting, which Kevin Smith uh, organizes, and many of you have been roped into different aspects of that. Um, I'll point out that on the monthly community meeting, uh, monthly community call, we have opportunities for different groups to make presentations uh, of, of new and exciting developments. And if you have those kinds of interests, you know, this is the place to get involved, and Kevin is the guy to talk to. Um, we have the marketplace, and I'm really excited about this aspect. I think part of our, our process of crossing the chasm, of, of making a, an inroads into the mainstream, is developing a vibrant marketplace around the Transmart platform. Uh, and so Michael is, is taking a lead on this. He, he works with Roche. He's the CEO of Pistoia Alliance. Uh, he has a really good knowledge in this space, and he's really helping formulate and lead this very important effort for the community. And if you have an interest in that, I, I suggest you, you get very much engaged with Michael. Um, uh, we also have a liaison uh, to the code and, and content committees. Um, and then on the member side, uh, we have Eric Kaplan, who has, has jumped in and helped us with a lot of what we're doing uh, from the perspective of the, our documentation and writing about what we're doing as a community. So these are our key efforts. If you have an interest in these, uh, you'll divide up into the right groups to do that. Um, what you'll do today is basically revisit uh, the mission of each of these groups, establish where we are. For example, I'm thinking the rebranding working group has already got a lot of work done, and so it has to take a look at what it's going to do in the future. Um, whereas if we're looking at uh, the marketplace, that's really nascent, and, and we're taking a look and, and seeing how we go forward. Um, we need to brainstorm needs, and the, the time frame to focus on is the next 12 to, to 24 months. Really think about what your group needs to do, what we need to accomplish, and how that needs to get done over the next 12 to 24 months. And then, this might be my bias coming from a, a startup background, you have to translate that into discrete objectives. What do you want to accomplish over the next three months, the next six months, the next 12 months? And that is really how we can digest that and turn ideas and communication and content into action. And the other thing is, when we look back here, 12 months from now, we can go back to this and say, what did we actually accomplish versus what we set out to do? How well did we do? And I think that's an important thing for us to do. So today's meetings, uh, we have each of these three groups breaking into different groups. We have an hour and a half to get together. Um, you don't have to spend the whole hour and a half doing the same thing. There's opportunity to move diff between different groups, uh, whether that be between committees or between working groups. Um, so what we should do is break into the three different uh, committees. You'll hear a little bit about what the mission is, what the working groups are, and then you'll break into various working groups. So we have 90 minutes for that. Uh, the code committee will be in the Vandenberg room, which is on this floor, uh, just down the hallway. Uh, the community committee will be down on the first floor in room four. Uh, and the content committee will be staying here, uh, so in this space. What I would suggest, because this is a very big space, you know, we all maybe congregate over here, these four tables. Okay. Um, when we get back, the, the key charge that I'm giving the, the committee leads here is I want to hear about what's happened. And so you need to, to come back together and tell us about what this reset is. How are the working groups doing? What are the key issues? What, what's the process moving forward? Who's engaged where? And in fact, you know, where are the gaps that we need to fill where we're not getting people engaged that we need to? Because we should have a call to action. If we've got important issues and we don't have people assigned, let's get people engaged. OK? Uh, and then uh, there'll be uh, some cross-group discussions uh, for half an hour between 4.30 and 5. Okay, so that's, this is basically our, our afternoon schedule. It's really about having conversation. Everyone needs to have their voice heard. I know we have lots of different voices. I ask the, the committee and working group chairman uh, to make sure that all voices are heard. Don't let a couple voices dominate the conversation. I think it's important that everyone have a, have a chance to speak. And then we'll come back, we'll hear about these things, and, and we'll go forward from there. So uh, I guess I'll leave that slide up just so everybody knows where they're going. Kevin, did you have any uh, final comments? Yeah, on an unrelated note, if you're heading out to the airport later today or tomorrow, and you would like the foundation to assist with your travel arrangements, see Jackie, who is stationed just outside this room. And uh, her, her request was that... Um, if you want assistance for travel tomorrow, see her today so she has time 
to, to help you make arrangements. But she is taking a list of departure time, so if you're leaving early, we'll know. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, anything else, Kevin? No, I think our, our charge is set, and we need to uh, disperse to the various and locations on the we'll slide. We'll continue to have coffee down here if people want to take Absolutely. a break and come get some coffee. Yes. Feel free to move around. So content committee is going to be over here in this corner of the ballroom. Um, the community committee is going downstairs. Kevin, you're taking them down? I will. And uh, the code committee is in the Vandenberg room. Jay and EK, you'll take the code committee there. And have a great afternoon conversation. I'll walk around and be part of each group. <laughs>